Today is my 25th birthday and so we're doing a very special video. I'm going to treat myself to some nice DIY at home um, spa day vibes. <laughs> so I'm super excited to be turning a quarter of a century years old. I'm just happy to be alive. Um, I've been through a lot and I am just really, really grateful um, and very excited for what this next year is going to bring me. I'm also very excited to see what this channel is going to be bringing you guys um, over this next year as well. So make sure if um, you know friends or family or people that would like my content or interested in natural makeup or fun makeup um, transformations or tutorials um, or my crazy hair videos. That was probably really loud. Or my crazy hair videos. Um, make sure you share my channel or my videos with them so that they can enjoy and join the Dove family as well. So here is to 25 years. and to you guys for being here and for getting me over a hundred subscribers this year and it is slowly but steadily increasing so i just thank you guys so so much um for giving me an amazing year and let's keep it up and i'm really really excited to grow this little family that we're building here. So um, make sure to really connect with me, make sure that you're following me on Instagram as well um, at Jinx2109 and um, yeah, you can message me or whatever you feel like doing. Um, it's totally chill, so. That is actually quite good. So today is a very special themed spa day and it is strawberries and champagne so this is what we're going to be doing today and I hope you enjoy okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is do a strawberry cleanser and how you do that is you just mash up a, probably one strawberry would be enough if you're just doing this um, you know, it was a one-time thing. I went ahead and mashed up a few. But you see it's very juicy and pulpy, so I'm taking a cotton square and I'm just soaking up that strawberry juice. I'm letting it fully saturate the cotton square. And I actually made these myself. I followed a um, instructional by the Sorry Girls and I will link that video down below. So you just rub this all over your face and I did everything on my neck as well. Since taking care of your neck skin is just as important as your face. Um, so is your decolletage really, but. And then you just massage in the strawberry juice for about a minute. It did stain the cotton square pink but I kind of like it. Um, it might wash out when I put it through the wash though. And then anytime I treat and dry my skin um, after washing off that juice, um, I pat dry. I try not to pull on my skin too much. Honestly, I make enough funny faces regularly that I, I don't need to worry about elasticity. <laughs> so I just try not to add to that by, by tugging on my skin too much. Um, I also use a non-looped flat weave towel. I find that's much softer and gentler on the skin. And then here we're doing a facial scrub. I put two tablespoons of oats and one tablespoon of sugar in a coffee grinder. Or for us, it's an herb grinder. And then added some of that strawberry pulp right in there and then you're just going to use this as a face scrub. Um, the more sensitive your skin is, the finer you want the particles to be. And 
and I decided to use this as a lip scrub as well. Tasty. <laughs> Tastes like strawberry oatmeal. So again, washing the face and patting it dry. And there is actually a benefit to eating fresh strawberries. You can also brush your teeth with the strawberry pulp, um, but strawberries are a natural lightening type of fruit. And so it's really good to kind of lighten and even up skin tone, get rid of dullness on the skin, but also to brighten up your teeth. Now that I was done with the strawberry pulp, I decided to just add that straight to the champagne. Found out that was so good. And next we are doing a facial steam with none other than strawberry leaves. Um, strawberries are actually really easy to grow. Um, they make a really good ground cover. They make a really good ground cover if you have any kind of um, space for gardening. They can also do pretty well in potted plants. Pretty well in pots. Um, and then you just steam your face until your pores feel open. You can see I got some, some rosiness there. So next we're doing a deep cleansing mask. This is the one product I'm not using DIY. Um, I picked this one up, it was on sale on iHerb. It's a pink clay mask. Um, and as always, I test it on my wrist first to make sure I'm not going to have a reaction, but the ingredients are all clean and I was excited to be able to try something new. Um, funnily enough, uh, the ingredients don't actually contain pink clay. <laughs> so I still have yet to try actual pink clay, but this is a kaolin and bentonite based mask. Um, it just also happens to be pink, I guess. Strange, strange marketing, but um, the mask did apply very, very smoothly. It was very smooth and creamy, and I left it on for 15 minutes. And as I was leaving, and as I was leaving that to soak into my skin and do its magic, I went ahead and started on my manicure. If you want the full um, how to do a DIY manicure at home, um, I have a video linked here um, where you can go check that out and I give you all of the steps and all of the things that you will need to do a full manicure at home. So I was doing a red base and then a French tip with rose gold. The, these are both from Piggy Paint, but the rose gold I mixed myself, and then the um, red color, that hot red color, which is gorgeous, is called Sometimes Sweet by Piggy Paint. Um, I will be linking things down below, by the way. And there is the finished manicure. So before I moved on to the next hand, it was time to take off that mask. Um, and this took me a second to realize here, I was wondering what that kind of rashiness on the sides of my face were. <laughs> and then I remembered that I was cutting trees the day before <laughs> and my face had been brushed by fur needles repeatedly. Um, so they were actual scratches that just got deep cleaned um, and not a reaction to the mask. Um, but my face did feel very, very soft. Next, I took that champagne, soaked a cotton square with it, and used it as a toner. All over the face and neck. Now this next mask is the finishing mask. It's a moisturizing mask. 
and it's very thick. It's a mixture of honey and powdered coconut milk. Now you, mixing powders with honey makes a fantastic mask because I love honey as a mask in itself, but it can get very, very drippy very, very fast. Um, so it's kind of hard to use and leave on for a long time. Um, adding the powder here really helps it to stay on the face better, but also that coconut milk is what's going to make it super, super hydrating. It's gonna leave your skin feeling very, very soft. Now one thing I have found out um, since my last honey video, actually of an old video um, talking all about honey, um, that is also linked here. But one thing I've learned since then is that for some people, honey masks are actually drying and I actually figured out why this is. So honey is a humectant, which means that it draws moisture into it. Um, it actually pulls in water molecules. So what's going to happen with that is if there's more moisture um, in the air than in your skin, so if you live in a more humid area, as I do, the honey is going to pull in that water and then it's going to absorb into your skin. However, if you're in a more dry climate, the honey is going to pull water from wherever there's more moisture, which means it's actually going to be pulling the water out of your skin. There, there's more moisture in your skin than in the dry air. So what you um, would need to do to make this work really well for you is to just make your bathroom wherever you're doing this humid, um, preferably a bathroom since it's kind of built for that. Run your hot water in your sink, run a hot shower, um, kind of steam up the room a bit, or you can just run a humidifier and then it'll help your skin absorb that water. And you'll get that really hydrating, moisturizing effect. So I did this all over my face, all over the neck, Thank goodness for all of those uh, tips and tricks you l I learned in, in magazines and online articles as a kid because I've been moisturizing my neck for over a decade now. But that's a really important thing to do since that's usually one of the first signs of aging is because you take care of your skin so much on your face that oftentimes you can forget about your neck and so your, your neck will kind of start looking old and wrinkly <laughs> before your face does. And I decided to use this as a lip mask as well. It's also delicious, just coconut and honey. And as that was soaking in, I did the manicure on my other hand. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my birthday celebration spa day and um that's it i feel like you know obviously didn't magically get rid of blemishes but um my skin has never has not felt this like soft and smooth probably since i was like 12. <laughs> um and I can say that the champagne after my 22nd birthday party, I had like half a bottle of champagne left over and I had like a few glasses, but mostly I used that as a facial toner until it was gone. And I have to say that my face was very glowy um, from using that regularly. Obviously that would be an expensive thing to do, but if you ever have like extra leftover champagne and you're just not going to drink all of it, it makes an amazing toner. Um, and as for the rest of these, like DIYs and stuff, I think it's fantastic. And what I absolutely love, as you may have noticed about um, home spa days and the DIY stuff, is that a lot of it is edible and delicious. So thank you guys for being here and joining me for my birthday spa day. And I wish you all the best. Here's to the next year.